Hello everyone, Saturday morning, hope you're doing well. Uh, Long-term food storage prepper type stuff. I tried out two different types of sardine last night. I found that the John, they're both in spring water, I found that the John West had an aftertaste. And I found that the, Br the Brunswick didn't have an aftertaste. The procedure was I just put this on a plate with a bit of salt and just ate it with nothing else. And for a few minutes afterwards, it had a lingering nasty aftertaste. So I've still got a few, I'll still eat them, but I'm not gonna buy any more unless there's nothing else on the shelf. The Brunswick, it did, it tasted the same as this during the eating and then it had no aftertaste at all. So the Brunswick is the one that I would preferably get if I got any more. Um, I watched a yachting video where someone does long distance blue water solo yachting. What do they eat when they're out there? They eat muesli and they eat sardines. So I figured I'd get some sardines for long-term food storage. Seems like a pretty good thing. It's got calcium in it, for example, and all sorts of other stuff. So really good there. This guy was going on blue water sailing trips for three or 400 days on the ocean, and he was eating sardines and muesli. So there you go. Um, the other thing is I'm seeing a lot of videos of people running a magnet uh, over store-bought meat, uh, chicken, uh, bean curd, soybean curd, such as tofu, uh, in tea bags and all sorts of other stuff and finding that there's magnetism in those foods from the supermarket. We're particularly talking animal products, but also things like tofu and tea bags. So I figured I'd do the same thing with these. And this is definitely a strong, a strong magnet. Very strong magnet. So basically, uh, with the fish on the plate, I hovered the magnet over the top, tried to get a response, and there was nothing, and then stuck the, ma the magnet underneath the plate and moved it around, tried to get a response, nothing, and did that with that one as well. So through that kind of rudimentary procedure, I was able to determine that there's probably not anything in there nasty. So I think uh, normally, normally these days, for the last five or six weeks, I've not been buying any animal products from the supermarket, but I figure uh, they are useful for keeping weight on. If you're just eating beans, it's harder to keep weight on, but if you're adding some animal products, it's a lot easier to retain your weight, your fat and your muscle mass. So it is a good idea to have some kind of animal products in addition to what you can raise yourself, such as eggs and chicken meat and things like that. So anyways, that's going to be my procedure if I get any more sardines or anything else uh, from, the, from the supermarket. Hope that helps. Cheers.